Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the light receptacle in this new tone bath fan, you will need a flathead screwdriver, a quarter inch wrench, needle nose pliers, a quarter inch nut driver, and a 3 8 inch nut driver. Before you begin the procedure, shut off the power supply to the fan. Using a flathead screwdriver, compress the locking tab to release the lens cover from the grill assembly. Unscrew the light bulb. While securing the grill and reflector assembly with your hand, using a 3 8 inch nut driver, loosen and unscrew the acorn nut. Unplug the reflector assembly from the light receptacle and remove the reflector assembly. Unplug the exhaust fan from the fan receptacle. Using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the hex head screw located on the exhaust fan housing and pull down the housing. Using a quarter inch wrench, Loosen and remove the hex head screw located on the side of the receptacle bracket. Pull down the receptacle bracket. Depending on the model's wire orientation, loosen and remove the wire nut from the white wires, then separate both wires. Loosen and remove the wire nut from the black wires, then separate them. Now loosen and remove the wire nut from the blue and red wires, then separate them. With the needle nose pliers, squeeze the tabs that are securing the light receptacle and push forward to remove it from the socket. Take out the new light receptacle from the packaging. Insert and snap the light receptacle into its socket. Take both white wire ends with the white neutral wire end coming from the bath fan housing and twist them together. Place the wire nut over the ends and twist until tight. Gently pull each individual wire to ensure that they are secured within the wire nut. Next, take the black wire from the receptacle and twist the end with the black hot wire end coming from the bath fan housing. Place the wire nut over the ends and twist until tight. Now take the blue and red wire ends and twist them together, connecting them. Place the wire nut over the wire ends and twist until tight. Put the collected wires carefully into the bath fan housing and slide the receptacle bracket back into place between the heater scroll housing and the exhaust fan shroud. Insert the hex head screw through the receptacle bracket mounting hole and finger tighten. Use a quarter inch wrench to fully tighten the screw.
With the exhaust fan housing, insert the metal tabs into the mounting holes nearest to the fan shroud on the bath fan housing. While supporting the exhaust fan housing, insert the hex head screw and start it. This will hold the exhaust fan housing in place. Tighten the hex head screw with a quarter inch nut driver. Plug the fan into the fan receptacle. Plug the reflector assembly into the light receptacle. With the grill assembly in hand, feed the reflector assembly through the grill assembly center opening. Support the grill assembly and center it over the bath fan housing. Insert the reflector assembly, screw on the acorn nut and tighten with a 3 8 inch nut driver. Screw the light bulb into the light socket. Hook one of the tabs of the lens cover into the notch on the grill assembly and firmly press the opposite side of the lens cover to snap the other tab into place. Turn the power supply back on. And the bath fan should be ready for use.